Yo, what's up guys? This is Atrix here. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new news related to Cassia emulator. As you know, Cassia is going to be one of the best Windows emulator for Android devices, specifically Windows game simulator. Even though it will be able to run games exe file, I'm not really sure if it will be running apps or softwares. Now the first thing which I want to talk about is the release date of Cassia emulator. Now many people were saying that Cassia will be releasing by next week but in fact that's not true because the main developer has confirmed that it won't be coming out this week, it will be coming out maybe even until end of the year. Now I have seen many YouTubers who are saying that Cassia may be releasing by next week but yeah that's not true because the developer is going to actually release a sneak peek of Cassia emulator running within the next few days. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications if you guys want to stay up to date with all the latest Cassia emulator news, gameplays or even release date information. Anyways, let's get back to Cassia. So the developer has mentioned that Cassia will run x86 Windows games and yes, it will be faster than Box64 Droid. Now one thing that happened recently was Box64 Droid emulator's developer and the main Cassia developers had some chats regarding the emulator and the developer of Box64 Droid was really supporting of this project. So hopefully we can see great stuff coming in future. As you know Box64 Droid is capable of emulating games like GTA 5, uh, Grand Theft Auto and even Need for Speed games, WWE games, the list just goes on. And the fact that Skyland devs have confirmed that it will be even better than Box64 Droid is an amazing news as we can expect a lot of games to run. Even GTA 5 someday, I hope so. The developer has confirmed that 2019 games are gonna need more than 8 GB of VRAM. Many of the games released before 2015 should work pretty fine on the Cassia emulator. You cannot expect it to run games like Hogwarts Legacy. Like what the heck bro, are you mad? People are commenting on my videos and saying how can I actually play GTA 5 on Cassia emulator right now. Bro, the emulator hasn't even released so just chill man. And as I was saying that Box64 Droid's developer and Cassia's developers are having some chat on the Skyline emulator server. The developer of Box64 Droid said that I think even if Cassia will release soon, it will still need lot of improvements. And the developer has indeed confirmed that it is a long way. There are just so many things to do in Cassia emulator for now. It won't be releasing anytime soon. Uh, optimizations, Mali GPU support has to be improved. Uh, the developer has confirmed that Mali GPU Android devices should be able to run Cassia pretty fine. Uh, until you meet the minimum requirements. So the minimum requirements of Cassia have been confirmed. You need Vulkan support and also minimum Android version 10. Without that you won't be able to run Cassia emulator which is as expected even with Box64 you do need a good Android device. And the one thing I'm most excited about is how easy will it actually be to set up Cassia emulator like Box64 Droid. You have to execute lot of commands on Termux and wait for 5 to 10 minutes but I don't think that will be the case with Cassia emulator. The RAM usage while emulating PC games on Cassia will be similar to PC RAM usage only a little bit more for JIT. Hopefully by the next few days we get some sneak peeks related to Cassia emulator as promised by the developer. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this emulator. I personally think that it's going to be an awesome project to continue the legacy of Skyline emulator developers and I have a news about Strato emulator as well. The development will take a lot of time. Uh, the first public build is also long away. Maybe even longer away than Cassia's first public build. Only time will tell so be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest emulation news. With that being said, see you guys next time. Peace out.